Happy International Cat Day. <laughs> what is this, chat? Are we getting a Twitch drops of a cat? Are we getting a Twitch drops? Today, I am here to share a preview about Hotfix 1.0.7. We're aiming to release Hotfix 1.0.7 on Tuesday, August 13, as we need additional time to verify some issues. In the meantime, I'd like to share some key updates in this hotfix. First, we're adjusting the options for the infiltration operation on hard mode. The grappling hook disable and jump disable options will be removed from the selection list I mean, chat, let me take a brief moment to say, to talk about this. I mean, when you literally develop content where you need a grappling hook and jump, but there is options to disable it, it kind of makes sense, but it doesn't make sense that you did not realize this from the very beginning of your game. That is just a weird design that some missions you absolutely cannot even clear without the jump button. Uh, let's see, chat. Additionally, the select all option will no longer be deselected when changes are made. Okay, we, they're actually listening to changes too hard to dungeons, chat. Do they listen to my stream or what? Or after selecting all options, Moreover, we're planning further improvements for the infiltration operation on hard mode in Season 1. These include removing occupation tasks and focusing more on elimination. Oh my god, chat. I'm getting a rash in my asshole by clapping my cheeks like that. Um, we're also replacing random combinations of options. Oh, chat, they're, li they're literally listening. Let me bring out my little notes, chat. We literally wrote that down the other day. Um, hard mode dungeon, no modifier RNG. Oh my God, it's right there, chat. We need to finish this list today, by the way. We need to finish this list and next on uh, reached out to me says hey ellie can you please like finish that list so we can copy please and not give you any credit let's see chat um next let's talk about content adjustments we're going to add some extra time for you to choose restart option after completing intercept battles special operations and infiltration operations let's go for your preference, restart with squad and restart alone buttons will be provided. Let's go. I like it. I like it. Chat, I like it. Additionally, we're making characters invisible when standing on hazardous areas after intercepts are done. Oh, oh, come on. No more dying to the lava once the intercepts are done. Let's go. I'm gonna be honest, chat. I'm gonna be real uh, candid and honest right now. I feel sorry for y'all bitches who play, for you bum bitches who play other games where your developers don't give a shit about you. I'm just saying. Nexon has been steadily cooking since release with week after week after week patches and improvements. I'm just saying. If y'all playing another game, y'all developers don't give a fuck about you. Anyways, let's continue. This is a W so far. I'm not even done, chat. And this is already a big W. Let's see. Um, uh, where was that? Making use of a reconstructed device more convenient. The difficulty of the Frost Walker mechan mechanic will be adjusted so you can enjoy this void intercept battle through public matchmaking more easily. I like this, chat. I like this. Even though I know a lot of you giga, giga chat gamers out there are not really struggling with your frost walkers, it's time. It's been a month, and I hope this continues with Nexon. I hope that they do release tough battles where the hardcore players and people could get the juice out of that battle 
but then they nerf it so that everybody can enjoy it. I like this. If we continue this um, this process, I think the game will be a very happy place for everybody. Yeah, I, I like it. Or, you know, maybe a, a difficulty slider where if people really wanted to challenge it on the hard mode, they could unlock a special title. I like that better. But, you know, this is a good, this is a good thing. Yeah. I know that a lot of people are against nerfing of fights, but I mean, come on, it's, it's healthy for the game. It's healthy for the game for everybody to be able to approach battles easily through matchmaking. It is just healthier. I, I, I love my hard battles, but I mean, I'm just being honest. It's better for the game overall. Uh, let's see, chat. Uh, especially when you have to farm these bosses, like, more than one time. When there's a 6% drop rate on something, and it's really hard to get through it because you, you are being sh shit on in public. Yeah. Um, also, give us a party finder mechanic, by the way. Give us a party finder. For the hard missions, at least. For hard intercepts like, um, obst uh, not obstructor, gluttony, uh, let there be a party finder option, at least for the very beginning of the game. For uh, tougher battles. Um, in special operations, AFK players will be moved automatically to the abort selection during intern review. Also, monsters HP will be reduced and more ammo will be dropped easily from boy. Bro, they literally are listening. We, I wrote this down the other day. They need to refresh enough ammo, HP, and MP. Oh my lord, chat. This is a, this is a win. We're winning. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let's continue room, um, uh, reading chat. AFK players, I don't do special operations, but today, you know what, chat? I kind of want to do two special operations. So maybe some of you guys have a little bit of time and you guys want to come along with me. I want to complete all special operations from beginning to end. All monsters HP will be reduced and more ammo will um, drop. Monsters spawn intervals are shortened and void fragments. Poison attribute located as uh, swamp... Uh, Echo Swamp. What is that? Monster spawn intervals are shortened in void fragments. Oh, is it just Echo Swamp? Or is it everywhere? It's just this specific, specific location? Okay, okay. We're also addressing the issue where weapon proficiency is not gained for equipped weapons using the unique weapons such as during Luna stage presence. Okay. Okay, that's good. Lastly, we have uh, we have usability improvements. We will enhance your farming experience with several improvements. In Halfix 1.0.7, we're adding a feature that allows you to quickly identify key information about your equipment. By looking at icons in the inventory, you'll be able to see how many ultimate options and items item has without opening its tooltip and identifying the attributes and archetypes of reactors through icons. Additionally, we're speeding up the tooltip display to help you sort valuable items more efficiently. One last thing. From previous patch notes where we discuss plans to support build diversity, we noticed discussion in the community about whether socket types need to be assigned 11 times for each loadout pages. Rest assured, we aim to support build diversity in a more user-friendly manner. If you prefer to use the same socket type across loadout pages 1, 2, and 3, your current setup will remain unchanged. Socket type assignments will only be required if you want different socket types for each loadout. Okay, well, was that somebody's concern? I think the bigger concern here is it wh whether it's going to be free to play or pay to win. I think that is the bigger concern 
not about the other thing. I want to know if my preset number two is going to require me to swipe again for different sockets. Now that's what I think is more of a question or a concern. But you know what? I'm going to let them cook. The first Descendant aims to be a long time beloved game. To achieve this, we're committed to improving the game in ways that resonate with you. We deeply appreciate everyone in our communities and will continue to strive to provide more enjoyable contents. Oh my God, Chad. This was very, very nice. You look so cute today. Oh, you really think so? Meow. Um, this is good. Yeah, 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 Chad. This was good. I just got here. Can you give us a TLDR? TLDR is that anything that you've been bitching about in this game is getting fixed. Yeah. Anything the community has been having issues with will be addressed. And this has been Reporter Ellie on the scene. Oh, don't forget to uh, follow me on Twitter, Chad. Follow me on Twitter. Go now. Hey, you might be new around here, huh? Well, hold your horses. Before you click off this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. As it does, help me grow as a streamer. Now do yourself a favor and do it, mister.